Warning, this tutorial is super beginners friendly. Let's make a simple yet iconic wooden fence that you often see. I uh, will not waste my time on deleting the default cube and rather use it. Now as you can see that currently this is just a cube right? But we want it to be a plank, a single plank from the wooden fence. So this right here I have a wooden fence reference. So if you look at the plank in the reference you can see that it's really thin and long. But here we have a large block, so let's make it thinner. In Blender, the way you make something bigger or smaller is by scaling. Just press S on your keyboard and move your mouse forward or backward. Currently, it's scaling on all three axes, but we only want you to scale it on the X and Y axis. So when already pressed S, press Shift Z again to scale it on every axis except Z. Now make it smaller. Press S and then X to scale it down on the X axis and make it thinner. Back to reference again, here you can see that our plank has a pointed head. To graft our plank that way, we need to edit this cube. We can only do that in edit mode. Just press tab on the keyboard. Now press 3 on your keyboard and click on this face. Press E on your keyboard and just place it here. This will extrude out a new selection from the cube, which is exactly what we want. Now if I press S and scale it, you can see that we are close now. However, if you look closely, you can see that we also scaled it on the X axis and now it looks ridiculous. Kinda like a pencil or something. Press Ctrl Z to undo this task. Now press S and then Y to scale it only on the Y axis. Now we have one plank, but we need multiple planks. Now we don't need to model each and every plank again and again. Instead, we will use a modifier which will duplicate this same plank multiple times. Click on this wrench icon to go to the modifiers tab. Add in an array modifier. Here on X factor, click on the X and type 0. Increase the Y factor and you will see the magic. Increase the count. This is the value that tells how many times the plank is duplicated. Shift A and in mesh add in a cube. In front view, press G and move the cube into place. Now scale it down until it looks good. You already know how to do scaling on different axes. I don't want to waste your time on this video. You already know how to do that. In edit mode, select this face, press G and Y and move it all the way here. Now we need another bar. As I said, we don't need to model the same stuff again and again. Previously, we used a modifier. This time, it's just one time duplication, so no need to waste time on modifier. Just press Shift D to duplicate it once. At the same time, press Z to move it on the Z axis and move it into place. Shift A and in mesh add in the cylinder since it looks like a nail. Press R and then Y to rotate the cylinder on the Y axis. Scale it down and move it into place. Again, you know how to do that. Now we need to duplicate this multiple times again. So go and add in an array modifier. Increase the count and play with the offset until the nails are in their correct positions. Press Shift D and then Z and duplicate it down to the second bar. And there we are! If you are into 3D modeling and looking for a new challenge, I've got something exciting for you. I uploaded a few tutorials on how to make a medieval seaside fishing house in Blender. If you made this wooden fence by following along my tutorial, you can also make a high quality seaside fishing house as a beginner. I highly recommend it. It will really improve your modeling skills. You already know how to do that.